It's time we do the same. Ban assault weapons now. Ban them now. Once and for all. Killer is released from prison and says he'll kill again. I got 17 years in, I got two body six and supermax, right? Back on that at 53. Yeah. Do you feel any regret for killing? Hell no, because I'll kill again. Hell no. Before we get started today, big thanks to our sponsor, USCCA. So as you'll see, if you ever meet a guy like in today's video, and he decides that he's going to run up on you with a gun and rob you and possibly kill you, you may have to use your gun in self-defense. Now, one of the problems with this country is that in self-defense cases, a lot of the times, people get charged. Their bank accounts are completely cleared out if they can even afford a good attorney. So a lot of people in self-defense situations are convicted. That's why it's so important to have a USCCA membership. You're automatically enrolled into a $2 million liability policy. You'll have access to an amazing attorney network. You'll have amazing training to know what to do beforehand and afterwards. You'll have a critical response team to help you through the entire process. From the moment it happens, and right now if you sign up, everyone's gonna receive this Otis cleaning kit. If you sign up and become an elite or platinum member, you'll also receive this range bag. And just for today, they're also gonna throw in this tactical flashlight. Now this is backed by 100% money back guarantee, which means that if you don't see value in this, they will refund you. So there's gonna be a link below the video. Go sign up today. Join me and hundreds of thousands of other gun owners. Everyone, welcome back. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed. You do not wanna miss the stuff that we're coming out with soon. And you really don't wanna miss any of it because we have a ton of fun here and it's all good. So for those of you who've been following me from the beginning, I started this channel in 2017 and I started it as just doing like funny videos with my buddy, right? And nothing really got traction until 2020 when I put a video out about George Floyd. And from there, we kind of stuck to politics, which was a whole bunch of fun. Eh and now we're purely a second amendment channel. But you know, doing this for a few years now, it's pretty interesting. Anytime you talk about the actions that somebody does, anytime you talk about something somebody decides to say, if you have anything that is not, oh my God, you're amazing. You are the best person in the world. If they are not white, it's racist. I cannot tell you how many messages I get on a daily basis from people who are like, oh, why are you so racist, dude? Let me explain something just so everyone's clear. I believe that the thought process of racism is one of the most ignorant things a human can have. You're essentially saying that everything of something is bad. Think about that, doesn't make any sense. Now what I base on if I like someone, if I would surround myself with them, or if I'll even listen to them, is on what they say, what their actions are, what their values are, what their principles are, how they decide to live their life. So let me give you an example. If you shoot guns, have a good heart, don't try to screw people over, and believe that this is the greatest country on earth, yeah we're probably gonna get along. Now on the opposite side, if you sag your pants, if you wear a bandana around your head into church, if you put a gun in your pants without a holster, if all you talk about is getting booties and going to the strip club and trap houses and all this other stuff, no, we're probably not gonna hang out because I don't value any of that stuff. In fact, in fact, it's the complete opposite of my principles. So I figured I'd start with that today because the next clip is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's black. Yeah, he was in prison. None of that matters. It could be a white dude in a collared shirt that works at a law firm. Literally could be a dude in a clown suit who just got done at a kid's birthday party. It's about what you say and it's about your intentions and it's about your actions afterwards. Period. So for everyone who questions, well, why do Americans need guns? For all the people who are yelling gun control. It's not because every single American's house is being robbed every night. It's not because every single American store shop is being robbed every day. It is because evil exists out there. And it may not be your neighbor. It may not be someone you know, but it could be someone who's pumping gas next to you. That's why we own guns. But in today's clip, this is a cultural issue. This is simply a person who believes in getting over on people, who believes in killing people for no reason. So a little backstory, this dude just got out of prison for killing a few people. And this guy finds him on the street and he just asks him a few questions about it. Hey man, 
Why'd you do it? This is why you will not find me leaving my house without a gun because there are people out there like this. I did 17 years. I did, I did 12 up top in Minnesota. I did five down here, but I did six years in Supermax. That's what was the game. circumstances of you killing them? I just robbed some motherfuckers and killed their ass. Shit. How old were you when it happened? 19. Give them now, all the bodies they know about. So I got caught for two murders. They dropped one. I had, I had two murders, home invasion, three armed robberies, possessed the firearm. You, why did you choose to not just rob them? Why did you also kill them? Shit, I don't know. I just... I'm a killer. Shit. So you just robbed some dudes and you decided to kill them. Now, the amount of robberies that are done versus the amount of people who are killed in robberies is a very big difference. So most of the time, the people just give up, give the robber their stuff, and they're done. I would say probably 90% of the time, robbers are going in to rob someone, hoping that they don't have to kill someone. Because that goes from a few years in prison all the way up to... I don't know, life. Well, I mean, when, when you look back on that at 53, yeah. do you feel any regret for killing Hell no, because I'll kill again. Hell no. Doesn't even know the reason. Oh, I'm just going to do it. What is it, fun? I'm trying to understand the thought process here. Is it a good dopamine rush? Oh, that's good. I'm glad our prison system doesn't do squat. This dude went to jail at 19, he's 53. That's 34 years in prison. But no regrets, no issues with it. He's ready to do it again like he had just did it yesterday. And people are still questioning, well, well why do you need guns? Do you want this guy as your neighbor? Are you gonna feel safe in your house living next to this guy? I don't think so. I bet you would feel a lot better if you had something to defend yourself with. No, you're still convinced gun control is the answer? Okay, all right, well, let's listen to more. Hell no. Were the, were the people that you killed, were they innocent or were they just? Uh, well, uh, one, one was a Caucasian, so fuck them. Oh, oh are, are we supposed to be offended? See, I think that's the difference. If there was a white dude on there and that was reversed, Black Lives Matter would be in the street protesting. It'd be all over the news. Oh, some dude got out of prison and says he wants to do more black people. But no, if it's reversed, it's just another day. We know, and that's why this whole race relation thing that's been going on in America for I don't know how many years will never be fixed. Do you think this dude wants to hang out with someone like me? Wants to hang out with a white war vet? That's a couple of streets down? I don't think so. I think he wants to kill us, which is what he said. And uh, the other one said, he, uh, he had robbed my boy, so I had to come get him. And you say that you've actually got more bodies, but that's just the two that they know about. Right, right. And I got some more coming. Can someone get him a badge of honor? I'm sorry, dishonor? He takes pride in it. Oh yeah, man, those are the only ones they found out about. And he's got more lined up. Oh, good. And while this dude's out there talking, we got a whole bunch of people trying to take away law-abiding Americans' guns. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. It's just sick. While there are people out there like this doing interviews in the street, not worried about it getting out there, not worrying about law enforcement seeing it, just being straight up about it. Well, I can tell you that anybody who's trained, anybody who owns a gun, anybody who's shot at a decent amount, you're not scaring anybody. But for the people out there, especially the white people for this guy, who are yelling gun control from the tops of the roofs, maybe have some tie-dyed hair, whatever goes along with it, I really hope you don't meet this guy. Because he's not gonna stop and check if you're an American-loving person, or if you hate America and would take Joe Biden out on a date. He's not gonna care. Two more coming. That was this country built on, killing. So I ain't no different than the police. Excuse me, the holies. They can kill, they been picking us off. I, I like this. They killed that girl, they get away with it. Oh, that's good. The holies. Yeah, because the police just go out in their cruisers every day just looking for people to kill. Sure, they make a lot of mistakes. Sure, there are bad cops out there. But you comparing this conversation to what the police do? Clearly, you didn't read much in prison because your intelligence still is very low. And if I fuck up again, they probably give me the death penalty because I'm going to burn somebody again if, when I get off these questions. If I'm pissed off, that's just the bottom line. That's what we call the emotional intelligence of a five-year-old. Here's the point I'm trying to make. There are clearly people like this out there 
and he's not the only one. He isn't special, he didn't come up with something new. Sure, he's pretty ballsy for doing an interview about it. This is why we own guns. For all those lawmakers out there and for the ATF who think they can just make a rule to disarm law-abiding Americans, this is why we fight for our rights. And no, it's not because we're scared, it's because we understand that you have to meet force with equal force or else you're screwed. Simple as that, folks. <laughs>